right here. Tucker Carlson, thank God, is putting together a documentary about the death of comedy. And uh, they brought the big guns out. They got Roseanne out to do a set. And, you know. Yeah, I love I love announcing the death of comedy by liberals and then, like, having Roseanne be the defender of comedy when she's, like, single-handedly murdering comedy herself. Well, here, hold on, hold on. Let me Every find time she clip. tries to be funny. You, um, you want to so, play Roseanne first, or you yeah, want to play the Tucker do, Carlson so thing So before first? we even watch that, Fox News, who's saying comedy's dead, put out this preview of Roseanne Barr. Cancel, Cancel this. this! Wow, I've never. That's such an original concept. Yeah, no, I've never, see, I've never heard that before. She's the first comedian to ever make fun of that concept. So yeah. here, here's a preview of. Uh, this is not even remotely hacky. This is, this is. Trigger warning, everybody. Cutting oh, yeah. edge comedy is about to happen. Yeah, okay. Dude, thank you. you may want to. The most away. offensive thing you've ever seen. Yeah, so it literally is though. It is fucking offensive, but not in the way that like, oh, I'm so <laughs> triggered by her words. Like, I'm just, un I'm angry when I see this stuff. I have a visceral reaction to this because it's just so painfully unfunny. Well, here is the rebirth of comedy. Us on uh, Roseanne Barr, everybody. Yeah, like sixty-five-year-old psychotic woman wearing pigtails. I'm about to go on. I'm praying to God that He lets my brains work for once. And he, uh, she does not look good, me man. From <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Why is she trying to do like a lolly with the? Is that the, the anime where like the young girls? She's doing a lolly, guys, with the pick. Okay. <laughs> that, I think that was her intention. Never mind. One night only. Thank God. <laughs> they Ladies limited the, the nuclear waste of, the of a set. Roseanne Barr. She's so goofy. She's How so goofy it? with it. Yes, we love Look at the audience. <laughs> we love you, queen. Wait till you hear the jokes, Thank man. You. Yes. A 200 seat auditorium. Thank you very much. Hi. I'm going to perish. You. I'm going to perish. I'm going to die if I. Oh, God. Cancel this. Crap. It is for you to have me here this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. 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 Bomb. This is the fire. Bomb. There, there's Bomb. been no the bump, bump, bump. <laughs> Hold on. There, here's the build up. You yeah, got the yeah, music? Yeah. Let's see. Let's You're see. about to drop a bomb right now. Yeah, I guess they thought they shut me up, but guess what? <laughs> anyway. Well, she doesn't have jokes. You know what I, <laughs> you know what I think? This is just like an hour of psycho babble, <laughs> and they, they this is the only coherent moment they could use for a trailer. Bro, she made Steven Crowder look like a viable stand-up. Oh yeah. You know how like Tim Pool has those other guys that are like objectively dumber than he is on his show right. to make himself look like a normal person. Sure. I feel like this is a psyop by the right to be like Steven Crowder's a comedian. Look, if Roseanne Barr's a comedian, so is Steven Crowder. Who's that one comedian that's just touring everyone? He just screams. He's from uh, Half uh, Jim Brewer. Yeah, he's my fave. He's Ugh. funny. Yes, ma'am. I love that we just hold on this. They couldn't shut me up. Did you forget Where what she was doing? Kids? I said that the producer looked like an ape, and I stand by it. Oh, is that what she said? Well, that's what she got fired for, right? Not the producer. It was an Obama or, advisor. Oh, well, okay. Well, somebody. I She's, thought the bitch was wise! Yeah. Oh, yep. my God. I forgot about that. Yep, that was from that. Yo. It's actually, I the bitch okay, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Wait, bro. I think that was when she was on Rogan afterwards, right? Was yeah, no, her, was having, her having like a psychotic meltdown is, is pretty funny. Never mind. She, she made like <laughs> a She made like a bit. Out of it, like that's where those sound bites are. Got from. it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wait, did that win? It? That must have done well in the soundbite Olympics in that year. That was before my time, dude. dude. That was that was the first year of the podcast pre Zach. Really? Yeah, yeah. It was like, yeah, it was before my time. Wow. I'm gonna get really offended if I do not offend everybody. Where are my people? You have not even said a single joke for me <laughs> no. to be offended. I mean, by. it's offensive that like you charged money to have people listen to this. Someone in the chat said that Ozempic face though, and that's a excellent joke, chatter. Good job. Ozempic. Ozempic. Yeah. Is that the, an old person medicine. The no, it's the fucking it's the diabetes medication that people are shooting up with so they can lose weight. Oh, you it's an appetite suppressant. I'll take some of that. Oh, 
it's Roseanne Barr featuring the audience. Like that's yeah. the entertainment. It's just her clapping, <laughs> or the audience clapping. Stop clapping. She's not saying anything. Just switching between her and the audience. Her being like, "Get ready to get offended." It's <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, dude. I, Some of y'all gonna want to cancel me out here. Woo! I've always been upset at like, look, I, I, I love comedy. Uh, I, I've been a defender of comedy 90% of the time on my stream I'm like having to describe what jokes are and why you should be able to laugh to like leftist people you know what I mean it's like a big part of my stream unfortunately okay and as a fan of comedy I've always been frustrated with like the TED Talk style approach like uh, the Hannah Gatsby's of the world on the left there's a lot of like liberal comedians who basically try to undermine the basics of comedy by saying like comedy is actually a bad thing or whatever right and then this is the the right wing version of that where you're just expecting claps for um an audience that agrees with you you're not like you're not like touching on uh you know the the bro forget the that hypocrisies or anything like that you're just said a single fucking thing yeah i mean she hasn't even done that yet but i'm saying like Dave Chappelle and Hannah Gatsby, Dave Chappelle's like newer sets when he's talking about trans issues and Hannah Gatsby talking about how comedy is immoral is basically in the same wavelength. This is even worse than that somehow. This but it is, it is, it is destroying the, the very notion of why uh, comedy exists to begin with. I mean, this is practically a Tim and Eric sketch right now where it just switches oh, between boy, the audience. Yeah, there you are. There you are. Don't worry. I'm going to get them all I mean, it tonight. pretty much is just Tim and, or uh, Tim Heidecker's stand-up special itself. Right. The anti, all the anti joke. Yeah. But just unironically That's doing right. that. right. Anyways, anybody else been fired recently? <laughs> About to, oh, 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 oh! It wasn't recent. That was six years ago. But, <laughs> you need a new job. <laughs> <laughs> six years ago, dude. Literally, not one joke was featured, and they had this super big ass fucking like beat drop for that one too. I thought she was about to say a joke. Well, there. Well, the there other video has some actual jokes. Yeah, yeah. Can we see the actual see jokes on All the right. set? Because yeah. like the actual jokes on the set. Are even fucking worse. Not the Tucker Carlson one. There's another one. That, There's a one minute preview of a. Uh, no, no, it's longer. There's like a yeah. There's like a two minute. I think. Right? Oh, oh, by the way, Benny. So Benny Johnson, the host of the Left Can't Meme, which a guy who definitely it. knows comedy legend, uh, tweeted out, Con uh, "Comedian Roseanne Barr is back, baby." And then famous, he famous, not gay Benny Johnson. Uh, Wondering once again why there are so many gay cruise ads on his uh, on his <laughs> computer. Right. Why are the gay cruises targeting me? Benny Johnson says. I don't know. They follow me wherever I go. That yeah. Concept of reality. They've been living in a bubble forever. Asking questions have nothing to do with the real world. What is my gender, Mom? What is my gender? Your gender is get a job. That's your gender. <laughs> Fuck yes. Yes! Yes! Woo! She, she can't, but she did. And they can't fire her now. She can't be fired by anybody. Is she allowed? Is she allowed to do that? She's not, but she can't be fired because she's on Fox Nation, bro. <laughs> I'm so... Dude, you don't she's understand how triggered I am right now, dude. <laughs> she's actually... What I f appreciate is Woo! she's the first comedian to make jokes about pronouns like that. Dude, I know, dude. That's why it's, it's cutting like edge. cutting edge. It's cutting edge when Dave Chappelle does it, too. When he's like, uh, lol, attack helicopter. Talk. Woo! Oh, forever. Asking questions have nothing to do with the real world. Right. What is my gender, mom? What is my gender? Your gender is get a job. That's your gender. Dude, oh, thank God you played that again. She said it. What she said thinking? it. After, what is a woman? They don't know uh -oh. that. Nope. That one they're asking all the time. What is a woman? Nope. I'll tell you I what think Matt Walsh is asking. Yeah, that. yeah no one is asking that. That's literally Matt Walsh. Walsh. Literally, not a single person <laughs> is like, Matt. "What is a woman?" It, what is just, a woman? Somebody tell me. Yeah, that's that's just Matt Walsh because he's like, you know, is my wife a woman? He's he's trying to not get in legal trouble, but like, you know, <laughs> that's why he's asking. Right. Time. What is a woman? I'll tell you what a woman is. A woman is me. Whoa. That was fucking crazy. That Big she, laugh. That's actually interesting because it's hard to tell. Uh, she looks, I mean, she looks like 
They 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 put a live track on this. After enough medicine and fucking They 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 put a live track on this. 100 100 p okay nah, those people are stoked yeah you think they're just going that's crazy that is a woman you're right you're right brother so so what is she so what's the joke right she says a woman is me are you trying to obvious, decon- right i mean which, I, I, are you trying to deconstruct this right now because yeah. there's no joke the no, joke want, is no, like I haha that. i agree with her i'm sure well, liberals if they could hear this right now hypothetically would be screaming because well, they're so angry theoretically i think the joke would make more sense if she if people thought she was a man. So she's like, I mean, I me. guess, yeah, the juxtaposition would make it funny, but like, it doesn't matter because I'm telling you, Ethan, there is no comedy here. The comedy comes from the, the liberals that they are imagining in their minds, listening to this set and getting very angry because it like shakes their worldview. That's what they're laughing at, the, the hypothetical libs that are being owned. So a woman is me. So what's the offensive thing there? Is she just saying it? She's willing to say it. Yeah, yeah. Set because it. like in their minds, it's like women don't like, exist. Libs think women. Right. Don't you're not. Uh, you're actually not don't allowed say women. to say I am a woman. Don't say it anymore. You're not yeah. allowed to say that. This is like dystopian comedy in like 1984. It's just playing endlessly on the TV, and everyone's like has Nodding. to pretend to laugh, otherwise they get arrested for sub subversion. Uh, so this is fire, dude. That. And by the way, this is the premium jokes that they put together for yeah. the trailer. That one they're asking all the time, what is a woman? Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what a woman is. A woman is me. Oof. Hits harder even the second time. That's I'm getting progressively wo- triggered. I'm so pissed right now. Fuck, man. I'm Don't mad. you ever fucking say the W word to me. Yeah. I, I hate women. I, I, I think there's only one gender. Man. That's it. That's, that's what I believe. Mm-hmm. Woman. Woman. Do I need to explain it? Yeah, Whoa, exactly. It's man. in the name. Hello. Yeah. Woman is, okay? A woman is someone who cleans up everybody else's shit. That's what a woman is. Oh. Well, trans women can do that, so that's actually pretty woke of her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's Gender cool. roles. I'm fucking pissed. Yeah. I don't even understand. She's saying, like, a woman cleans up everyone's <laughs> shit, like... Okay. Yeah. yeah, a woman cleans up after everybody. Okay, so fine. Let's let's epic. But that that cannot be her story. Her life is a story of her ruining everything and people cleaning up her mess. Okay, well, let, but let's see, let, let, let her cook. Let her cook. I want to hear. We're we're ruining she, her she, bit. She literally got fired for getting so fucked up on Ambien that she was doing like racial slurs on Twitter. Like you're not cleaning up anyone's mess. She's a man. This woman is a man. And that's on God. A woman is somebody whose boobs hang down to her knees with a prolapsed uterus from giving birth to five ungrateful little privileged <laughs> never had to work for anything in their whole damn life. I think she forgot the starting point of this joke. Yeah, I don't really... She just kind of like... I did think that was funny. I like the saggy tits and the prolapsed vagina as an image. I think that's powerful. Yeah, mm-hmm. why did she say that? She's a real woman. Real women's vaginas okay. go down to their ankles. Yeah, I'm them cool. titties. Real, real women are are moms that hate their kids. That's right. <laughs> real women can tuck them titties up their vagina. Cool. <laughs> Who resent their own children? That's, That's right. Real woman. Is. Okay. Uh, that one was like a little confusing for me because real like, women. I don't even understand where she's going with that. But let's see. Maybe she has a maybe she has an end point to this. Okay. Let's hang down to her knees with a prolapsed uterus from giving birth to five ungrateful little privileged. <laughs> never had to work for anything in their whole damn life. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she's I'm just sure her saying children hate, are privileged. Yeah. Just saying, I hate my kids. She started yeah. with like, you can't cancel me, woke lefts. I hate my kids. Yeah, I mean, that's like, this is old school comedy, though. It's like my right, bitch ass wife. Haha, <laughs> want to kill her. Right, like that right, that right. sort of thing. Right. So I guess she's doing a shout out to the old comics. Well, uh, she but from is a old. woman's perspective. She is old, yeah. Yeah. Real women can throw their prolapsed vagina over their shoulder. <laughs> Alongside <laughs> their saggy tits. Okay. That's let's right. See. What else? Real women can play jump rope with their titties. Well, I want to see. I want to see what else you got. Let's see. Come on. Rap. I want I want her to deliver this epic final <laughs> note. My pronouns are kiss my No, she did not. She did not. The, I, I don't know if I'm 
I don't know if I'm fuming or just shocked or I, I just I've never seen that joke before. I've never seen you, you, that oh, joke. Oh, you mean? Wait, it's the wow. The the same joke that she made in the beginning, so that you what? heard it twice technically in the set. No, she said she pronouns is off. kiss my ass. Well, she also started off with another pronoun joke, if you remember. She did? Didn't she? Oh, shit. She did. Yeah. It's very forgettable. Okay, well, she's the first one <laughs> in, in this comedy set to ever make that joke about pronouns. Yeah, yeah. what did she say? What, what was it? My pronouns are prolapsed vagina. The, the first pronoun... The first... The first uh, pronoun joke was about what the kid's pronoun is, which yeah. is get a job. So yeah. their gender is get a job. I never heard that. Yeah, I've heard gender heard is yeah. kiss my yeah. ass. I love that you can say anything after pronouns. It doesn't have to be a pronoun, actually. Yeah. My pronoun is jump rope over my swinging no, hot guys are, twitties. These guys are like incredibly woke. They're like they're like fucking I like Tumblr this. kids, basically. You know what I mean? Kids that like grew up on Tumblr. Where they're they're uh, you know advocating for the complete abolition of gender by uh, advocating for like you know what is it what are the what are they called Zeno genders or whatever what fuck uh, de or demi or I know what you're talking about what is no, that no. Where they, uh, there's like uh, neo pronouns there she's neo advocating pronoun, yeah. well not she I don't know what neo pronoun Geta I don't think Geta is advocating for <laughs> neo pronouns. <laughs> My pronouns are pick up McDonald's on the way home today. My pronouns are I'm watching Below Deck tonight till about 10 p.m. Then I'm getting in bed, wake up early tomorrow. My pronouns are... I respect her for... Well, I respect Geta for abolishing <laughs> gender. It's awesome. It's good, good for Geta. Good for, good for job. He's a good man. Get a job. <laughs> no, it's not good. he. It's a girl. Okay, she's get a, a get a is a good man. She's a good man. Get so, is a good job. And I just don't. just to show you how fucking bankrupt, I I really think Get is a good lady. You're doing it again. You're you're not respecting. Stop. You're, you're not you're not so respecting rude. Geta's pronouns. Yes, I am. Okay. Benny wow. Johnson, who is a self-proclaimed comedian who is paid to produce content by no right-wing establishments, literally said that this shit is hilarious. My pronouns are kiss my ass, dying laughing emoji. <laughs> now that's funny. <laughs> now this is that, funny. That is this unintentionally, is uh, you know, <laughs> Benny that. Johnson, unintentionally <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Benny Johnson goes, yo, the advertising on Military Times right now, bro, it's also, what's gayer, the Cruise ad or him, he's on Military Times? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the, large, the world's largest gay cruise. Yeah. What is he looking at? My pronouns are, get on board of the gay cruise. <laughs> My pronouns are... Nice abs, buddy. You want to come into my room later? Uh, I've got some meth. We can but get listen, started. listen, listen. While while Roseanne Barr is defending the sanctity of comedy, and uh, you know because it is illegal, yes. if we see you, if we catch you laughing, we will throw you in the gulag. Yes. Um. There's also uh, another man who's also defending comedy, Tucker Carlson. Yes. Objectively, a hilarious person who definitely yep. knows the joy of laughter. Uh, let's take a look of, uh, on how Tucker Carlson is defending. Uh, comedy. Nothing funnier than a dude that wears a bow tie. I mean, he is funny looking. Yes. Yeah. He yeah, is funny is looking. The this is Got literally that. the fucking face of white privilege nepotism <laughs> baby with the bow. He's like Richie Rich grown up. Yeah. Sexual fantasy. He's so gooey. He's so gooey let's, let's, let's look at what he had to do. He, he's like he's like inbred white. He did white. a whole documentary saving comedy. Yeah, so here it is. So, so that's the lead up. Uh, this is all part... The Roseanne thing and this documentary, it's all and part I got, of And I got something comedy. to say about some of the comedians featured on this in a little bit after we watch it. Oh, did you have the guy who was complaining that they used his clip? All of them complained. <laughs> Everyone that's not featured in the documentary that was used as a clip were like, dude, fuck you, you fucking racist piece of shit. Yeah. Like, we, what the fuck Can are you, you talking about? Try to find that Okay, one. spoiler uh, alert, Ethan. You're spoiling it. I was spoiler. Gonna, I was going to do a big reveal of that oh, in a sorry, second. Just sorry. play it. Right, You're telling me just play it, Hassan? Yeah. Who are you? I know. But just, you know. 
My pronouns, my pronouns are just play it. Okay, well, but just play it. Tell me what are your pronouns. Please play it. <laughs> the most racist joke ever. Comedy is the hallmark of a free society. Okay. Wokeness basically wants to make comedy illegal. Oh, Listen, no. Any offensive Elon. comedian, we're just oh, trying to make people laugh. Okay, sorry. I, I can't. I can't. Free speech first is of all, dying. Like, first of all, Elon Musk, a dude whose comedy is literally just fucking reposting memes from 9gag, is yeah. in the documentary explaining <laughs> what real comedy is. Well, I is. think Source Babylon B, I don't think Elon is in this documentary. I think Ari, on the other hand, is. Dude, it seems yeah. like Ari Shafir is, which, Bro. by the way... Your career washed. is dead. Washed, bro. Washed. By the way, he reached out to be on the podcast recently. Really? I said, fuck no. Or, oh, his manager. Fucking washed. It's probably, not, washed. Good. It's probably this... not good etiquette to say that. No. But I said, fuck that Hold that this fucking L, idiot, Ari. Bro. God damn it. Go suckle on Joe Rogan's steroid nipples more, you bitch. <clears throat> oh, I'm so fantasy. fucking subversive. <laughs> she, oh, uh... she manages more than just Ari. No, and she's awesome. I love her. I just don't like Ari. <laughs> um... <clears throat> yeah, she's great. I just don't like Ari. Keep them pitches coming. Just sorry. Yeah, just it's better people. Respectful though. pass on just, Ari. Just Thank better you so much. If you have better people than Ari, I'd be interested. Right. Because this is washed up as it gets, my friends. If he went on Tucker Carlson, if he actually, if this isn't just Any like, offensive if this is legitimately him Participating. Participating yeah. in the documentary, he is omega washed. Oh I, my I'm lord! I'm ninety eight percent sure that's the case because there's another clip I saw with a extended like part of the interview. Let me with hear him what he's talking about saying. all this. So let me hear. Nothing more annoying. Offensive comedian. We're just trying to make people laugh. Well, I'm just trying to make people laugh. I mean, what the heck? Doesn't Ari have a bit where he like went into like a black neighborhood and screamed the n word? No, I don't common. know, but that sounds like something he would do. I don't. I'm I don't, just I don't trying know to make for people sure laugh. If that's the case, can you can you fact? But yes, that? he does a lot of uh, shock comedy <laughs> stuff. I know he, he is probably most famous outside of comedy circles for being the guy that whenever somebody beloved dies, he always pops off with a bunch of tweets about what a piece of shit they are and how he's glad they're dead or whatever. Isn't he that lo he loves just what like SJWs do guy. though? Like that's like it actually is. SJW oh, shit. Cool. It is. So what happened? You're just like, you know, adopting the tactics of the people who want to destroy comedy? Like, oh, fuck. No, I, so, think he, I think he's trying to be brave, right? He's look, trying to, like, be counter. You do this. I know this. I want to be funny, too, okay? And I'm not a very funny person. You do this oh, stop outrage it. You're very shit. Funny. You do this outrage shit when you have no other bits. You don't have, like, a clever bit. You don't have a clever uh, uh, way to, like, analyze the situation. So you're just going for outrage laughter. And, you know, we all do it sometimes. Ethan. Me? No. I've never. You would never do that. I, I've done it as well. I understand it. It's just that, like, it, it's just, you can't make that your whole shtick. Like, it's just so whack. All right, let's see. Uh, we, uh, play the rest of the Ari Listen, clip. Any offensive comedian, we're just trying to make people laugh. There is a fear of getting canceled. Who are you? Nobody can speak Adam their Carolla, ass. the biggest right wing shit bag. Adam Carolla. Up yeah, another guy who wanted to come on the show. I just said fuck off too. So I'm brave. And so important. they're they're showing people getting like punched on stage and stuff. We, which uh, like as though there's like systemic attacks against comedians. Like comedians are being targeted. Which you know, I uh, I think it's like ridiculous to fucking punch an entertainer on stage. It's like no, everybody thinks it's psychotic. It's crazy. Everyone everybody. understands that. Everyone yeah. recognizes that. Like you know, and the people that think that that's uh, acceptable, they're irrelevant. They're like, you know, people chirping on Twitter. Who gives a well? And, and then the ultimate irony is most of the comedians they featured here as the brave uh, comedy warriors have responded to this by saying, you don't have my permission, you are racist fucking pieces of shit, yeah. don't use my shit. Like even, even Dave Chappelle, who is like, very transphobic, I, I don't think he would be on board with like, whatever the fuck Tucker Carlson is saying. No. Like, I, cause... No, he wouldn't be. I mean, we'll, we'll see, maybe he'll come out and, and make a statement or something like that, but, I mean, this is a great opportunity for him to make something funny out of this situation, but, um, yeah, let's see. Well, I don't know if you knew this, but comedians are actually the, um most oppressed uh, group in society right now. Yeah. Yeah, this is a, a can I, sh I can show this, right? Yeah, here's, um, here is uh, Ari, shame to the Jews, uh, 
Shafari. What's his name? I don't know. Shafir. Shafir. Ari, shame to the Jews, Shafir. He did had a bit, The Amazing Races, where he would drive around black neighborhoods like this. I'm just trying to make people laugh. No, it's funny. It, it's <laughs> it, objectively. It's just. Why were they angry? See how angry they get. Yeah, psych. They're mine. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, I, people are not like, that was dope. Well, well, some people actually are saying that. About I just, I thought that it was like not that big of a deal when it happened, especially because the <laughs> two, both of those people involved, Will Smith and, uh, and Chris Rock are both, you know, they're, They've known each other for 35 fucking years, and they're both comedians. You know what I mean? Like Will they, Smith is a comedian. I mean, I guess Will Smith is a... He's not. He's a musician and a uh, actor. Rewind. But even Rewind. then, they're like, you know, they know each other. No, but the... the, the uh, yeah. I don't know which one this is. What is that? I don't know. There, uh, yeah, it happens all the time, and here's the thing. You know... They act like it's some coordinated effort by libs that we to, all like, destroy, sit in, yeah, to sit destroy in, comedy. We sit in the nightclubs, we watch him for, for, we're policing for him to cross the line, and then we attack, baby. Nobody can... Jimmy Lee is the only, Jimmy Lee needs to be featured in this fucking documentary. <laughs> Alright, let's he see, let's see what wishes. else, uh, I wanna see the rest Adam, of this. Adam Kroll is a giant piece of shit too, by the way. Nobody can Not speak funny. their mind. Oh, oh wow! You know what's not funny? The one Being thing fucking sanctimonious. Nobody can speak their nobody, mind. Nobody, nobody thinks it's funny when you got like a bunch of rich old white dudes fucking <clears throat> constantly mouthing off about how difficult it is that people are not laughing at their same fucking hacky bits over and over again. My Comedy is still thriving. Is please laugh. You 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 see motherfuckers yell at Bill Burr? No, because he's fucking funny. Okay, just shut the fuck up and be funny. Okay, mm -hmm. that's the job that you have. Comedians are not like, uh, you know, the modern philosophers or whatever the fuck, okay? They can oftentimes uh, successfully make cultural critique that is objectively funny, show the disparities, show the contradictions in a humorous way, and comedy can be educational in that regard. Comedy can also uh, teach people the, the uh, personal lived experiences of, uh, of marginalized communities. Like, I love comedy, okay? It's important for me. This man actually uploaded a video called Offering Black People Free Trips Back to Africa Racist Prank Gone Wrong. Um, he has a, uh, a specific uh, interest in offending black people, I noticed. He has a whole series of this amazing racist with uh, teaching Asians to drive, uh, a bunch of other different races. Does he do any Jewish jokes? I mean, yeah, he Jewish. does. He does. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. he does. That's yeah. good. good for you. All right. Equal opportunity. You're a good man. Why are people offended? Is this man skin exposed? Is that like just his fucking dick area? Like, is he wearing shirts? He's his cum gutters. <laughs> what the fuck? That's what a... is that outfit, bro? All right, all right. Let's let's. Uh, I want to watch the rest of this clip because uh, there's there's all right here. There's some good juicy stuff in there. Yeah. By the way, um, they go. Nobody can speak their mind in this one-hour documentary airing on the most popular network on television. The one thing that people currently in players. power can't stand is being made fun of. Right. So Art they to play by their rules. Right. You're not going to be able to say certain things on YouTube. You're not going to be able to say certain things on iTunes. Is that comedy? Boy, this what a disaster this is right now. It is now. Right. I'm not giving a TED talk. My job is to be funny. You're such a hack dude, loser. Dude, dude, if you, if you uh, are a comedian and you went on the Tucker Carlson <laughs> documentary bro. about how comedy is dying, you're washed. You There's are. no... You're so fucking washed. You're so mad that like motherfuckers aren't laughing at your jokes anymore. You've lost the sauce. That's it. Your pronouns are fucking washed up. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the people whose clips that they use. I'm not talking about the comics. Like the first guy yeah, that they showed yeah. is a, is a young black comedian uh, who who actually was in the right for yelling at the heckler. I know. And did a really good job of like dismantling yeah. the heckler yeah. who was immediately kicked out. Okay, and there are situations like that that he that Tucker Carlson put in his uh, in his documentary, I guess. It's and the people and, participating so far, I've identified I think three: Ari, Corolla, and this fucking little rat weasel. Like out of all of the people that they showed, you know, regardless of what <laughs> they've done personally, like yeah, Louis C.K. is probably like one of the only funny people 
uh, or was Annoying. funny and is no longer. I think he also but he's like, not a, a lot conservative of, shit bag. Yeah, right? well, just yeah, like showing his dick to people. Yeah, exactly. You know, is that a cons I guess that is kind of a conservative. Uh, yeah, I mean, pro attribute. On stage, communist is supposed to show where these. Oh, there he is, Jimmy. Door. Let's go. Comedy my legend. My pronouns are Jimmy Door. Dude, he's <laughs> fucking. He is. Oh God. He. And that's that's a funny guy right there. The narrative is wrong. And then one girl goes, "We think you're not entitled to be making some of the jokes you're making." This is the current state of comedy. Tucker Carlson originals. Man, the death of comedy. So the guy that they showed the the Indian dude that they showed at the end, he also I think he's like writes for SNL and stuff too. Like he shit this on. Guy. Yeah, he shit on being uh, used in this regard. Yeah, I just linked it. Yeah, Nimesh Patel. So here's the guy. Uh, yeah, here he is. He says, this is nonsense. Comedy is thriving. There was a reason I didn't do Tucker back in 2018. No one here is a martyr for comedy. Everyone featured in this trailer is selling out theaters and making money, myself included. Stop this fake victim BS. That guy um, was in the trailer. Yeah, and the other guy, the first guy, also <coughs> had something to say as well. Yeah, his, his was really funny. What was his response? Um, also, I his name. I was it. trying to find it. I love how they're dissing the loser comedians that were in this <laughs> documentary. I mean, he's saying everyone featured in his trailer is selling out theaters and making money. Ha, doubt it. Okay, not Jimmy Dore. Some of the some of the people that are featured are, uh, you know, without their permission. But maybe some of the others not necessarily thriving as hard, or maybe they are. I don't know. Maybe there is genuinely an audience of like unfunny divorced dads who fucking really want to hear someone. Talk about how woke these uh, libtards are over Did and over again. See Roseanne's audience, man. Yeah, it was crushing. Yeah, if you guys find his tweet, this guy's, it was, it was, it was good. In the meantime, uh, the other guy's Troy Bond. I'm pretty sure. If you want to find his tweet, um, I think. Maybe. Actually, you may not know this, but I talked um, to a student. But Ted Cruz actually. I thought that was the first time yeah, I heard Troy it. Yeah, Troy Bond is the other guy. Troy has Ebola is his... Yeah, it's his pinned tweet. Go to Troy has Ebola on Twitter. Got it. He says, Hey, Tucker Carlson, go fuck a green M&M, you open-mouthed dipshit. It's funny that you are making a documentary about comedy considering the right wing has no idea how to do it. You use my clip without permission, and I will now be joining Antifa in retaliation. Me too, Brian. <laughs> Yeah, you got the the non hacky comedians are all like, dude, why are you doing this yeah. documentary? Someone responded, it's funny because he showed your clip of what is likely a conservative woman getting mad at over your S tier joke about a conservative. Yeah. Yeah, and he said, because I remember, yeah, he was like, the really funny part is the joke she was interrupting was a joke where I said I was the most anti, was the most pro anti Trump comedian. Um, and, uh, you know. So it was literally a conservative that got offended. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Mangled. No, yeah. actually, no, no, it wasn't. She was saying he's racist. It actually wasn't. I remember the question. Yeah, he's, um, I think Troy is, he's like, I think quarter black or half black. I, I'm not entirely sure. I remember like reading up about him in the, when, when that came out. I was celebrating Roseanne's brilliant comedy, but it turns out she may have stolen her joke. Bro, you know what this is? Okay. This is just like what Elon Musk was saying. Uh, originally, everyone was like, Elon Musk is a free speech defender. And we were like, no, he's not. And everyone was like, shut the fuck up. Yes, he is. That's why he wanted to buy Twitter. And we were like, no, he doesn't want that. He just wants you to fucking admire him. And look where we're at months later. Like, Twitter has exploded. The trending tab doesn't fucking work. Twitter barely fucking works half the goddamn time. Whoa. And he's firing engineers who keep telling him, like, yeah, your engagement is, like, lower than it was before because people don't really care about your nine gag memes. And he basically is like trying to reconfigure the platform's algorithm to only serve Elon Musk tweets. And that's at the heart of this. That's not a joke. This that is, is not actually. A, yeah, that's that a real thing that's happening. happening. And, and he was never a free speech actually, guy. If you can, can you paste that story here? These, these people do not care about free speech. They just think free speech is when you like have to sit there and laugh at what the fuck they're saying. That's their gripe. Their gripe is not being liked by... Uh, a, a broader audience of liberals. That's why, like, it went from comedy is, is, you know, comedy is being silenced. You're not allowing me to, like, make jokes. And there was, like, uh, in the most heated time and, like, the, uh, in the, at the final stages of the Obama era, there certainly was a wave of people that were just, like, 
literally filming comedians that were trying out their bits, their new material, mm -hmm. and being like, look at how racist this new material is. It's like, yo, that's how fucking comedy works. You have to try your shit, and sometimes it's not going to land. And if you're talking about tricky issues, if you're talking about, like, you know, delicate matters, if it bombs, you're going to look like a fucking asshole. But then, when you look like a fucking asshole, you never do it again, or you rehash your bit, you, you work on Thank it, right? Thank you for defending me, bro. Yeah, and the point is, <laughs> exactly, the point is, like, there was a, a there was this, like, kind of movement, but most people don't give a shit about it in the real world, right? Oh. But these guys are still riding the wave of, like, right. uh, trying to counter that by being like, no, 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 you're not letting me be funny. It's like, you're just not funny, dude. You're not funny. It's not, comedy is not dying. You're murdering comedy by You're being good. just unfunny and constantly fucking complaining from a privileged position about how, like, people are not laughing at your jokes. And, it's not and this funny. must mean comedy is dying. <laughs> okay, so it turns out Roseanne may have stole her joke from one of the best that's ever done it, Ted Cruz. I talked to a student recently at one of our woke college campuses who said she is required in every class to introduce herself and to give her pronouns. Hmm. Ooh. Well, I'm Ted Cruz, and my pronoun is kiss my ass. That's crazy, bro. That That's crazy, because they, they they never heard this joke. Wow. And Benny thought it was so funny, he had to retweet it. He goes, bro, my pronouns are kiss my ass. Bro, the, these are... Ted the Cruz, The reason why huh? Ted Cruz and Roseanne Barr have the same joke, and like half these fucking washed-up hacks have the same joke, is because they're not looking for laughter, they're not trying to get someone to go, oh, I never thought about it that way. That's pretty funny. They're trying to get this, okay? And the moment that you're seeking applause rather than laughter to make people laugh at something that is objectively funny that they didn't think before, that's the moment you've lost. You're not a comedian anymore. You're just trying to do a fucking TED Talk, okay? You're looking for validation from a group of like-minded individuals, and that's not what's supposed to be funny. You know what's funny? Farts, okay? Farting on a dog. Very funny. Objectively okay. or, funny. I doesn't mean, have to okay. be brilliant. Doesn't have to be fucking uh, incredibly smart or, okay. or, or have like oh. this ideological message dog. behind it. Or George Carlin, you know? Okay, so, so that's your idea of comedy is on farting dog. on dogs or something? I, dude, have you ever seen a video of a, a guy farting on a dog? It is objectively hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, see? He's right. It's, Okay, I mean, it's He's better right. than He's what, right. I mean, it's better. I mean, it's be definitely better. I'm just saying that, like, it doesn't have to always be smart. It doesn't have to this. always be intelligent, but it can be. We spent 30 minutes on Ethan eating McDonald's uh, yesterday. Bro. Well, that's and people art. ate it that's up. That's avant-garde. Well, it's comedy is art. That's what I'm saying. That's what I always said.